All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol SRME, so Rental Therapeutics Inc. And before I jump into this chart, I do want to state some things. And the first thing is, welcome to all my first time viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. Hope you guys find this video helpful and informative and worthwhile. If you guys feel encouraged to subscribe, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, but as well, hit the bell so you guys don't miss a single notification that I post my videos daily so you guys can be up to date and up to par on every single video in these charts and other charts as well. So all my subscribers, I want to say thank you for your support, your recognition to my efforts, as well as your feedback and the way you guys communicate with each other. I really appreciate that. It speaks in high volumes of the community that we have, and I expect for us to continue that way. And I expect nothing less from my end to continue to give you guys great and helpful information. So let's jump into this chart. Very bearish run here to the point that it recovered from the bearish run slightly for a day, right? And it bounced back over the 50 day moving average and quickly the bears have reappeared. And we're gonna zoom in here and see what happened uh, yesterday. And the day ended a little bit higher than where the lowest point was from Thursday, but still there is some room for the bulls to work on to continue to work their way up to newer highs. So. Resistance level was broken through three, three, three times and, excuse me, it was broken through three times and uh, was not be able to be tested and used as support to continue, but it is getting closer to the 50 day moving average for the bulls and we're going to have to see if they can continue this run. So the 50 day moving average is 826. I write that down. Very important. If that gets crossed. This could be on its way to break the first level of resistance that is important. And that is 831 for the bulls. Turn that into a support and they can start to work their way up higher levels of resistance as well as move further away from the 50 day moving average in an upward direction. On the other hand, we have the support and the support level is 787. This is what the bears want. This is their goal. This is the lowest point in the day even after this slight uh, run here from the bulls leveling up and then dipping and then leveling off this is the lowest point if 787 does get crossed then we'll go back to the recent um support level from the previous video which is 768 and that's the lowest point here from this bearish run since we saw so that's very significant if 787 does get broken through you want to see how quickly is it moving down to those other support levels and newer lows but before it gets to 787 i want to also point out another support level more zoomed in and focus and that's 804 that's the lowest point after this level layoff if 804 gets crossed you still have some time to pay close attention to how it behaves between 804 and 787 because the bulls can reappear and bring it back up but at least you guys have those points of reference to pay close attention to on the other spectrum of things if this was to go in a downward trend and move further away from the 50 day moving average downwards but the main support i can't emphasize enough to pay very close attention to if it gets broken through is 787 we're gonna have to see how this one plays out tomorrow uh, on monday and um, go from there if you guys learn something new subscribe to my channel Hit the like button for me to let me know you watch this video. Share this with your friends and community. And thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.